Hi there. And welcome, and today I want to show you how to translate 100% of your Joomla website automatically. We'll be using our tool, Linguize, which is a software as a service, or SaaS. This means that the translation tool will be directly connected to your Joomla website, and it will detect and translate any new content that is added instantly. And the best part? This whole process can be done quickly using a high quality neural machine translation tool. This type of tool is automatic, but it still delivers high quality translations thanks to its use of translation models and optimization. If you want to learn more, be sure to check out our website. So, what are we going to cover today? First, we'll show you how to connect Linguize to your Joomla site using the dedicated Joomla extension. Next, we'll set up the language switcher and take a look at the translations. And finally, I'll demonstrate how you can edit the translations right from your website's front-end. We'll also visit the Linguize dashboard, advanced settings, and the service prices, of course. Let's get started. In the first sequence we'll create an account, or you can register a new one if you're new to the service. Linguize offer a one-month free trial for every new domain registered with up to 600,000 translated words. On each account, you can add several domains, but each domain will require a separated membership. That's still pretty interesting because the automatic translation is basically 90% less expensive than a pure human translation. So, we'll use it to translate our demo website, here I'll add my domain. That's a Joomla demo website I've just set up with some English content in it. The registration of the domain is required because at the end, I will get an API key I'll reuse in the Joomla extension to activate the website translation. Then I'll select my original and target translated languages. Let's add one more languages, for example Japanese. Currently, there are 84 languages available. Every language you add here will consume your translation quota. If you have a middle-sized website, I'll recommend to start with five languages maximum so you can see at the end of the first month what is th volume of translation you have. Okay, it's done, and now I have the instruction to install the plugin and copy the API key. This is what I'm going to do in the next sequence. Now I'm on my Joomla website admin. I need to install the Joomla extension. You can easily find the Lingdize extension from the official Joomla extension directory, or search from the extension web install here. I can run a search for Lingdize keyword in the Joomla extension directory here. Okay, found it, then just install it like any other extension. On my website I've just installed it so let's go to the extension in the component menu to see how it looks like. Here is the first setting I find is the API key. As you can remember, this is the API key I just copied in the previous sequence. Let's paste it here. Then apply. Perfect, as you can see below, there is my language list. Lindys has detected my configuration and added the language I've selected when I registered my domain. Now that my website is connected to Lindys, it's already translated. No worries, we'll check that in detail later in this video. But before checking that on the public side, we will review the language switcher with the flag options in the next sequence. Now let's add the language switcher to our website. Basically, a language switcher is composed of a country flag and a language name. Here in the extension setting, you can see the language list display with three options. Side by side displays all the flags and language names one after another. There's a preview here in the right column. The side-by-side -side is not very nice here because I have many languages, let's test another one. Then you have the drop-down that looks like a multilingual menu. Finally, there's a pop-up option. I think it's better in my case to display in numerous languages. Just above you have a setting called Insert Alternate Link Tag. This setting is about helping search engine index your multilingual content faster, and I can guarantee you it works pretty well. Let's scroll down and check the advanced extension options. There are many options, among them, we can see the possibility to use alternate flags per language, color, border, mouse hover options, etc. I see this is mainly some options to adapt the front-end rendering to your website design. That's great, but now I need something to add this language switcher to my main Joomla menu, for example. In the how-to section here, it is said that it's ready to be used as a Joomla menu. 
Note that there are also alternative option to load the language switcher using a Joomla module or a PHP snippet. Let's jump to my Joomla main menu and add it. Let's add a new menu and search for the Lingai's menu element. Save and it's done. I can check on the public side of my website, but my menu is already here. We can jump to the next sequence and see what it looks like on the front end, the public side. Perfect, here we are. I have my Lingai's menu with the flag and language name on the right. And when I click on it, I can change the language. Let's try Japanese to see a different alphabet. Now let's try French. And Spanish. Okay, looks good. Now if I navigate on the website, still in Spanish, I can see all my pages are instantly translated and 100% of the content is translated. Even extension content like here where it's a slider from you theme, or here where I have a Joomla blog system. Another thing that I notice is the URLs, they're all translated. Also, Lingais generates language tags and alternate URLs. It means that, for example, this page will be indexed as French in search engines and will have a top rank for this language. For the SEO specialists, keep in mind that all the automatic translations are ranked in search engines like any human translated content, and that it brings around 40% of traffic increase with only four additional languages. Lingdice respects all the international SEO standards like the alternate and X default URL generation, the HTML language tag per page, and the quality of content. Also, if you speak French or another language, you can check the demo website to verify the translation quality, but that's around 90% of what a good quality human translation can do. Now that you've seen how easy it was to make this automatic translation, I'll show you how to edit those translations from the website frontend. I'm going back to my Lingai's dashboard. I can check some usage statistics on the dashboard front page. It's not Google Analytics, but it gives an idea quickly what languages are the most used. As you can see, there are many tools here, but we'll get to that in the next sequence. For now, let's focus on the front end translation. Here it's called Live Editor. Let's click on it and select a language, hum, still French here. Okay, I have the website opened, but with the translation tool in the top right corner. If I open it have three buttons, the computer that is the navigation mode to navigate and translate another page, the edition mode, the pen, we'll use it now. And the code icon to edit meta information such as translated page title for search engine. Let's focus on the translation mode for now. I would like to edit a menu. For example, and change a word to say welcome to the visitor instead of home. So I'm changing the word bienvenue to Acuel in French. I just click here, edit and save. It's done, my menu is edited in French all over my website. That was quick, and it gives you a preview of how fast it is to review translation with this front-end tool. This is pretty also useful to translate with the context. I mean you have the original text, the automatic translation generated, and your input. And I can click anywhere and edit anything, even on extension content, page builder, no matter what, as long as it generates HTML. It's also possible to edit links, video links and images, in a translated language. Now that you've seen all the translation and front-end edition, I would like to present you the translation dashboard. Let's jump to the next sequence. Here we are in this last sequence where we'll navigate in the Lingai's dashboard. After the statistics, you have a part called rules. We have dedicated videos for this part, but basically that's a very powerful tool where you can add translation rules that apply all over your website at certain conditions. Did you follow me? No, that's normal, I'll show you an example. Here I'm adding a new rule, let's give it a title. It refers to this text on my home page that I would like to replace in French only. I can exclude text from translation or replace one content by another with various options here. 
Imagine, I would like to replace latest homes in French by Maison Zala Un. Currently, that's not super accurate, but let's imagine. Let's copy this text. Okay, I can paste the text, here it's the translation I want to replace, I'm adding the replacement text too. Below I have other option, I'm gonna apply the rule only in French, just in case it exists in another language, trust me it happens sometimes. And I think that's okay, let's try that. Saving. And boom. Text is replaced everywhere in my French pages. Pretty cool, no? Now what do I see on the dashboard other that rules, I can also see my translations as a list here and play with filter and edit them. That's a possibility. I can also see the search request that have been made on Joomla. The links now. You have the possibility to create link translations here, edit a file link per language, that can be useful for PDF files link for example. Finally, I have the settings, this is where my domain is set up. Note that I can add a language anytime I want, this is the advantage of using a SaaS. As a conclusion, I would like to show you the pricing model. This is based on the translation volume it goes from 200,000 word to unlimited and from $15 up to $45 per month. The first month trial will help you determine if you have a small, medium or large website in term of translation volume. This is less expensive with a yearly subscription and you have one month free per domain as I mentioned earlier. The main advantage of using Lingai's translation tool is that the quality is pretty good considering it's 90% less expensive than a manual translation. Also, new content is always instantly translated and SEO friendly. So, that's also great for business and e-commerce. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you're watching this video from YouTube don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay informed about new plugin features and ask us any question using the comments. And of course, you'll find all the useful link we've talked about in the description. Have a nice day, bye.